Hi guys, my name is Dr. Kavita. I am a radiation oncologist. I am based in Delhi. As you guys know that I have cleared my step one last year in May and I started my research position in US recently. Now this video is going to focus on all the study resources for step one, a very laid back video and I have noted down all the important points so that I don't miss any particular resource and it is especially for those people whose year of graduation is more than five years. So I will be focusing especially on the subjects like anatomy, biochemistry, microbiology, which I think for all of us who have passed like a while back, they are seemingly difficult as compared to the other subjects. So I will start with how to start your u -board. So if you have just started your preparation, you have bought your u -board, but you don't know how to start it. So the very first step to start UWorld is you have to know how to form the test. So you have an option to build the test in the time mode or in the tutor mode and in the random mode or in the subject wide mode. So since there is so much of information out there, I will tell you my personal uh, perspective and as a postgraduate resident, uh, how did I follow a strategy that helped me clear all my concepts meanwhile also doing the U world percentage and increasing my score and gaining my confidence subject wise. So when you start U world, you have to start the U world initially subject and system wise. Why? I'll tell you. Because when you are not confident with all of the subjects and you are not a fresh graduate, it is difficult to become the master of each individual subject. That is why to gain uh, knowledge and to become confident on each and every subject, you need to start the U world subject wise. For example, when you build a blog, so you will be asked, do you want to build blog from all the subjects, from all the systems or from each system? So for example, if you are picking GI, so suppose if you are reading GID, then you will want to do every system from GID, like you want to do pathology, pharmacology, anatomy, embryology from GI system. So this is uh, what encompasses a whole subject or a whole system. So if you want to take it subject wise, then it will be more clear to you and you will able to track your progress as you complete your U world. And there will be a set of targets. Suppose GI has around uh, three to 400 questions. So you know that you give yourself time. If you do 40 questions per day so how many days will it require to finish your GI system so suppose after a week or 10 days you know that you have to complete GI and after completing GI you can test yourself and gradually as you do uh, your blogs your confidence as well as your performance and your percentage in your schools will keep on increasing and that is the best way for somebody who has passed like uh, MBBS quite a while back that is the best strategy to start you world as every one of my friends and my uh, uh, study partners uh, advised me though some of the people do, uh, do random blocks but it is better to do random blocks when you have done the first pass of you world what is first pass of you world when you have completed 100 percent you world one time so for now when you are initially beginning your journey your aim should be to complete one system or one subject so if you complete GI, then you move on to the next system CVS, then you move to the next system microbiology and so far and so on. Now that is how you should do your U goal. Now how many questions per day, how many questions in a block should we make that is everyone ask and uh, should we make it on tutor block, should we make it on time block. So as somebody who used to do full time job and uh, who used to study only after working in the hospital the best way to do u world for people like us is both in tutor and time mode 
never do just tutor mode you should always have a limited time so that you can track that at least in one and one and a half minute you need to complete one question but what is the advantage as soon as you finish that one question then you can move on to the next question and even if you're traveling in metro even if you you know get time during working hours in hospital you are taking a break so you can do one question and meanwhile just read the explanation of it and you won't even get to know that you finished 10 questions even when you did not reach home so your target of 40 questions per day has now just 30 questions left that is the best way to do you world for somebody who is working now what how many questions should one uh, target to complete in a day so it can be very subjective in my very good performing days when i was uh, studying with my study partner we even did 100 to 120 questions very rigorously very fast but uh, mind you she was doing her second read and i was doing my first read and I was little bit uh, uh, acclimatized with the subject so it was not difficult for me and I just wanted to get familiarized with the subject so if she read fast I just read it in one go and later on whichever point I felt uh, were difficult on those points I went back after I study sh the session ended and revised them for myself you should never never hastily finish your world always keep it in mind because your world is the only resource that will get you through and each and every question is very important so if you are able to do one block per day it is more than required uh, at your stage you can target 60 questions on weekends but for the weekday if you are able to do 40 questions it is a very good speed sometimes i was not even able to complete 40 but i did not sweat about it what i targeted was that um, the way I'm reading the explanation should be thorough and if I am getting stuck at something I went back immediately either to the FA or to the U world to clear uh, or to the YouTube to clear my concepts or if I'm using some extra resource to clear my concept and then come back again to the next questions or what you can do is mark the questions in which you are getting stuck at a particular concept because by this time you have forgotten almost everything and you might not be able to remember the exact concept so you have to make note of the questions which in which you need to revise the concept so you note down those questions and at the end of your blog you just review properly from the proper uh, lengthy resources and clear your concepts very clearly this is most important you just don't need to get done with the u world but these questions will make or break your uh, exam score so uh, just to show you uh, uh, like uh, how i used to make notes uh, i will just show you uh, like my notes used to look like this so not all the questions i made note of but some question that used to be uh, that i felt were very important and the concept was repeating i made a note of them and also similarly uh, even in the nbme i used to make important notes whenever i feel that i haven't read them or they seem to uh, be the repeating concepts so uh, people do well with the flashcards of Anki and everything but it's been really long since we passed MBBS so I was not very familiar and confident with Anki so I made my own uh, flashcard just with the post-it notes or simple cards so I used to write the question and uh, behind it I used to write one word answer or one sentence answer that worked well for me but if you are good with Anki then very well so these are again the type of mnemonics or something that I made for myself just to refer back uh, at the end so that I can revise well do not try to copy paste anyone's strategy even my strategy just watch 
videos like these and know down what kind of strategies people are using then you made one strategy strategy that works very well for you because everybody's study style is different and if you don't know your study style yet then keep exploring because i very well knew that for me writing is uh, writing makes me very confident when i write something i know that it is going into my brain so uh, whether it was one word or one sentence but i made it a point uh, to write down most important concepts especially the educational objectives so that's about you world now what to do about the subjects because uh, there will be so many subjects and so many resources how to decide on following what so the very uh, easy technique that everyone starts with is boards and beyond they are very lengthy videos and they don't work for everyone so you can try uh, uh, watching them they they take a lot of time in watching but if you want to get your concepts very clear from the beginning and you don't want to get stuck at any question so you can start system wise and see if it works for you so i tried it with cvs and uh, a few other systems but i found it it took most of my time so i just dropped the idea and moved to the other resources but you can try it for yourself if you find it useful the next thing is kaplan so not everybody does kaplan but uh, kaplan is specially famous for biochemistry and physiology and they help me a lot especially biochemistry now uh, a secret i will tell you is if you have to make your concept solid and uh, keep your percentage higher then you should be very very thorough with pathology and with anatomy uh sorry with pathology and with physiology these are the two subjects that i used to struggle a lot even at the end phase when i started evaluating uh, my exam papers of nbmes and uwses i found that in pathology and in physiology i was specially lagging behind so when you know this from the very beginning you will focus on pathology and physiology pathology everyone knows that we have the notes of pathoma and uh, we have pathology in fa so by mixing them it will be very good from the beginning each system wise you can focus on pathology also pathoma has its own videos so uh, it's advisable that you watch that i watch them and it helped me a lot for physiology you have to have some other resource because uh, you you get stuck in physiology most of the times so for me kaplan was very good the second thing that i uh, at the end ref referred was the prs book so there is a book called prs notes of physiology uh, that helped me a lot i read it just on reddit some post uh, about prs physiology and it cleared most of my physiology concepts and my score uh, drastically improved after uh, working on my physiology so if your scores are not increasing individually you will have to check each exam papers performance like which systems or which subjects are you lagging behind in when talking about immunology hemat on oncology now these are very tricky since i am a radiation oncologist so for me oncology was easier as compared to others but for immunology uh, there are uh, free videos of armando's uh, immunology on uh, youtube that you can refer to also ninja nords videos are very good so you should keep looking for the free youtube videos because there are so many uh, uh, free resources on youtube as well as mehlman notes they are also very good so for physiology pharmacology and aero based questions and biostats i did uh, uh, in uh, i did uh, mehman notes so uh, you should uh, at least get accustomed don't get overwhelmed 
I did not decide in the beginning that I will end up doing all these things but you start with one resource that is Blue World and First Aid and slowly you build pace with other resources and you just have to complement your preparation with other resources but your main uh, whole soul uh, resource will be First Aid and Blue World. When talking about biostats, Randy Neal videos again freely available on YouTube are must watch. Everybody watches them and he has explained them very very nicely. Uh, so again uh, a biostats question can also make your uh, performance uh, very good if you have uh, clear concepts. There are uh, 100 cases of ethics that people read usually. Uh, I did that but uh, most of uh, what I did was just uh, ethics from the U world and first aid and there was one resource uh, for ethics I will just link it in the description I just forgot what was the name of the resource for the ethics for the ANAT again there is 100 cases uh, ANAT book in which there are different uh, pictures of uh, anatomical sites and they have labeled it so it becomes again very easy uh, to prepare anatomy because these are the subjects that I used to struggle with for you all know sketchy is very good for microbiology as well as pharmacology not all the drugs I followed but whatever drugs that I uh, was not confident in I followed uh, pharmacology from sketchy as well as I complemented uh, pharma uh, especially CVS pharma and uh, psyche pharma from YouTube videos so YouTube you have to make it your friend literally I used to type the subject name and type USMLE step one and I used to get so many incredible good resources and I used to just watch them clear my concept and move on to my keyword again so this was a very short and very informal video of me of me trying to explain how I did my preparation and this is again very subjective. So whatever you can take it uh, from this video, just take it and leave the rest. And do tell me in comments if you like my video and please uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And uh, if you want me to make other videos, do suggest and I'll try to make the videos. Till the next time, bye guys, take care and good luck with your preparation.